DVDs. Um, I don't even know seven something you just saw on the screen, but welcome to a full day of eating, cutting edition. As you can tell, I just woke up and I'm being quiet because my roommate is sleeping. Um, but I'm going to just, yeah, let's get into the first meal, breakfast. All right, for breakfast, we're gonna be having the classic protein oats. So we're gonna start off with about three ounces of old-fashioned oats. And then after we put that in, we're gonna go ahead and add our water. Um, I don't measure this, I just wing it, more or less. And then you gotta be sure to mix it up with a spoon so it doesn't just sit on top and it gets all over and just the best consistency. And then after we get the water, we're gonna go ahead and put this bad boy in the microwave um, for approximately two minutes and 30 seconds. That's what I do every time. So we'll go ahead and get that started. And then you're gonna wanna pull it out at 45 seconds. This is important. And we're gonna add our peanut butter. So we're gonna add about 32 grams of peanut butter-ish. I don't measure it every day, but yeah, we're adding peanut butter. Sometimes it's a pain coming off the spoon and splatters and sticks. And I got on my knuckles because we're almost out of peanut butter. I had to reach far into the jar. But then you're gonna mix this up so it gets the peanut butter a little melted, mix it up a little bit, and then we're gonna put it back in the microwave for the rest of the 45 seconds to get it fully melted and just delicious. And then after that, we're gonna add our protein powder. I'm using Chocolate Vegan from BPN Sups. I'm do going with a one and a quarter scoops. And then I'd recommend using whey protein. Tastes much better, but go with what you got. And then we're going to add about 5.5 ounces of frozen mixed berries. You can use whatever. It just helps to cool off the oatmeal and make it like perfect for when you're about to eat. And then here's final product. The delicious looking protein oats. And then we're also going to have Oikos Triple Zero Yogurt. 15 grams protein, 100, gram, or 100 calories ish, so not bad. Then a whole container of multivitamins for the health. Just kidding, one multivitamin. And then some water, the usual. All right, let's go ahead and get into the nutrition. So the total calories for the meal breakfast is 838 calories. And then you can see everything broke down per part of the meal. And then that's gonna bring us to 96 grams carbs, 27 grams fat, and 61 grams of protein. A good start to the day. Um, yeah, it's just the usual everyday breakfast for me. All right, breakfast has been made and I'm going to eat it and enjoy it. And then I have class pretty soon. And then I'll see you guys at lunch because probably won't eat anything until then. All right, I just wanted to pop back in here to talk to you guys about water, how much water I'm consuming on a daily basis. It's basically the only thing I drink. Sometimes I'll have almond milk if I have a protein shake. But my water intake, I basically, I drink a heavy amount whenever I have a meal, and then I'll drink some while I'm working out. And I always just shoot for, if my pee's clear, I'm good. So I have to pee very often because I'm pretty hydrated. And if I notice it's decently yellow, I'll drink more water. I'll just snatch to remember like, oh, I need to drink water. Um, but I always focus on getting a lot at the meals because then I really remember to chug the water. So water is important. That's how much I get. Basically, if my pee's clear, I'm cl in the clear. Get it. <laughs> it is now 1130 and I'm going to have lunch here in just a second because I have a class at noon and then class immediately after that at 1. So I kind of have to eat it before. I'm actually hungry, like I'm hungry right now, so I'm not even mad, but um, it's my meal prepped meal. Um, I mentioned in my most recent video or one of my videos recently that I was gonna do this full day of eating and then also a video talking about or showing a day of meal prepping for me. I meal prep my lunches 
Um, so one meal out of the day. One meal a day for the whole week. So today I'm gonna show you my meal prepped lunch in right now. All right, here is my meal. Looks pretty good right now with that steam coming off it, but it is a taco bowl with brown rice, black beans, corn, spicy pico de gallo, and I think I said that right, and some ground beef. And then also I'm gonna throw some guacamole on top. Um, I'll have the total calories and everything on the screen probably right now or if I don't have them on the screen I'm gonna talk to you in literally 10 seconds about it but um, I just want to talk about why I'm having guacamole well one it tastes good I like this meal as a whole but last week I was feeling really hungry like eating 2800 calories a day ish and I was just feeling super hungry the hungry pains were real and I decided that I might eat in too many carbs I had a lot of high carb days so I decided maybe if I up my fat intake and lower my carbs, I will feel more full during the day. And I've been at it for two days now, and so far so good, I would say. Um, but I'll see what I feel like at the end of the week. Um, so yeah, I've been upping my fat with this guacamole and some peanut butter in my oatmeal in the morning. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my food. I'll run through the calories and everything right now and see you when I eat again. All right, now the nutrition for lunch. The total calories is 899. And then you can see all the individual calories per part of the meal once again. And the nutrition for the meal is going to be 65 grams carbs, 41 grams fat, and 64 grams of protein. And that's gonna bring our totals for the day um, 161 grams carbs, 68 grams of fat, 125 grams of protein, and then the total calories will be 1738, huh, Fetty Wap, <laughs> and then we have 1062 calories remaining. All right, I'm back and I'm having a rice cake for my pre-workout snack. Um, it's a caramel rice cake, 50 calories and some carbs. Uh, so I'm not really going to show you the nutrition on it, but these are super low calorie, pretty voluminous, and they taste great. Sometimes I put peanut butter on them, but I also had my uh, creatine, and then strong reds, and strong greens. I mixed all these together. There's like 30 calories max and all that, so I'm not really counting calories, but I also had that for the health, uh, just so you know. And yeah, I'm gonna go work out and then I probably will see you at supper. Hey all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> um, I'm recording this clip because my girlfriend is a baker and she's always got sweets around the house here. Like, the bad ones. <laughs> look, we got cupcakes, we got a pie. There's more. There's and better. it's so very tempting. How am I supposed to be on a cutting diet with her around? So I ate half a Break cupcake. I ate half a cupcake. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And I think it's fine. I'm not gonna track it because I really don't care. I got intramural games I just lifted. I don't burn a lot of calories a day, but I indulged and had half a cupcake. So figured I better let you guys know so I'm not a fraud. Um, yeah. All right. All right, we are here for supper and I'm having Panda Express, the usual. I always have Panda, but I normally get half white rice, half super greens, like the broccoli, and then both grilled chicken, but they're out of almost out, almost out of grilled chicken and out of the broccoli, so I just got straight up white rice, and I got half grilled chicken and then half sesame chicken, and I'll have all the totals up in a second. I don't know how much this is right here. It's a little more calories than what I normally get, but it'll just have to do, because I didn't really have a choice. So, yeah, let's get into the nutrition facts. No printer. All right, we're good. <laughs> no, we're not good. Um, I'm eating grilled nuts, really good, and some fruit salad, so just in case you guys are good. <laughs> All right, let's get into the nutrition for Panda. Like I said, I normally get a different meal. I normally get half white rice, half broccoli, and both um, grilled chicken, and that's much more protein and less calories. But tonight, like, I just had circumstances, they were out of stuff and kind of shorted me, whatever. I just deal with it. 
Um, so I ended up with steamed white rice, um, about eight ounces, so just steamed white rice, and then grilled teriyaki chicken. They shored me kinda, so it's like four ounces. And then sesame chicken, about five, five and a half ounces. And that brings the calories for the whole meal, 1,088, um, compared to what my other normal is 725. Um, if I get grilled chicken and the other stuff, and it's much more protein. So if we go look at our nutrition. Um, so the meal I had, 133 grams carbs, 31 grams fat, and 47 grams protein. And then normally, 63 grams carbs, 21 grams fat, and 65 grams of protein. Um, so pretty big difference, honestly. Which, it's annoying, but it is what it is. Um, that brings my total for the whole day to 2,780 calories. So I'm when I'm going to go over my goal. I already did with the cupcake, but um, circumstances, it happens, guys. It's okay if you miss your goal one day, um, especially if you miss it by just a little bit. Like I'm still probably going to be in a deficit with all the burn I'm having today with intramural basketball tonight and working out. Um, so it's not a big deal. And it's just as long as you're like 80% consistent, you'll be okay. Just like try to be consistent as you can. Stuff happens. Um, don't like binge eat or anything, but I'll be okay. I'll have a protein shake later probably, but that's the total calories. Um, and then total nutrition for the day, 291 grams carbs, 97 grams fat, and 171 grams of protein. So that right there is why I'm going to have a protein shake later. I'll hit protein if I take one. I'll get like, I'll be like 130 more calories and then like 20 something more grams of protein. So I'll hit it um, and then that'll be it. But yeah, circumstances, stuff happens. You're not always gonna be spot on. Don't stress about being spot on. Just try to be as good as you can, um, as consistent as you can. If you're 80% consistent, you're gonna see results and it's gonna work well. Um, it's just try your best. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, don't worry. Every little thing is gonna be all right. Yeah, I know I'm a great singer. All right, I am back and feeling depleted after our intramural basketball game. Um, so I'm having a protein shake, vegan, um, BPN chocolate protein, one scoop, some almond milk, and a rice cake. I'm so I'm gonna be over the calories, and I don't really care because I feel like I need it, honestly. Also, I got a haircut. I'm still like wet, and I might even still be sweating, but I showered and it's still wet. But that is going to bring our total for the day. I'm gonna be done after this and go to bed not too long. Probably edit up this video, but that's gonna bring our total for the day to 3,040 calories. Um, you can see there's my breakfast, there's my lunch, and my dinner, and then my snacks. And then also I don't have that half a cupcake because I didn't want to worry about tracking that. Um, so 317 grams of carbs, <clears throat> 103 grams of fat, and 196 grams of protein. And that's gonna That's gonna cap off the day. I hit my protein goal, that was the main one and definitely hit my calorie goal eating wise. I should have ate less, but like I said, my goal was 2,800 calories and normally I would stick to that, but uh, just given the circumstances of the day, that's how it's happened. Um, and I might lower that or raise that calorie goal, uh, depending on how much my weight is tomorrow. I'm weighing myself in the morning and if I'm down another pound or two from last week, then I'm gonna keep it at 2,800, but if I'm up weight or not down much at all, then I'm gonna put it um, decrease my calories even more but yeah that's gonna do it for the video thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed if you have any questions comments concerns drop them down below in the comments or um, DM me on Instagram uh, that's linked down below but uh, like subscribe love you guys have a great day I'll see you in the next video Bye. oh also let me know if you have any video requests or ideas because I want to make content that you want. Okay, now goodbye for real.